Hey, what's up, everybody? This is Toasty Gamer Boutique. We're here playing Merge Magic, and I'm here to talk a little bit about the ancient leaves. So here, these are the first element of the ancient trees chain. Uh, I recommend making five merges, getting the level one ancient sapling, and so on. Here, I'm up to the level four wise ancient tree right now. And once you get the level three, or above, you can harvest those for more ancient leaves. So here, I've been doing a lot of harvesting. We've got a couple merges, so we're going to merge those five ancient leaves. Here we can merge these five level one ancient saplings. <clears throat> here we're going to merge these level two small ancient trees there. Beautiful. I've got four more down here. So we're going to take this level three ancient tree, make a five merge over here. Beautiful. And I'm going to harvest these five one last time then once my creatures are done harvesting the harvesting all of those we're going to go ahead and merge those so how do you get these trees to begin with well it all, all starts with these elven temples here um you can drop your creatures on these elven temples to harvest those leaves here we just got that and uh, it takes a little bit of while before you get the level three and above that you can harvest but it, once you get that, it really speeds it up. So keep harvesting your temples. Get those. The temples, depending on the level, refresh every couple minutes. Here, the small elven temple level one refreshes every five minutes. Here I have the level two elven temple. And that refreshes every four minutes. Um, if we check these out, there's a bunch of levels uh, you've got 12 levels, then the wonder, definitely a very big chain, and uh, you need gems to level up this chain. So here, super powerful item, but a little bit of an investment that required along the way. I got one from an event, if I'm not mistaken, or from healing the premium land. Um, oh yeah, it was when we healed the premium land, we got an extra one, and then I leveled up once. So so far, I've received two small elven temples from the map. One of them, I spent some gems to level up. Beautiful. So here, this is going really well. I'm going to harvest those trees. Here, we're getting another leaf. Let's see. We're at four of the ancient leaves right now. Getting closer. And when you harvest these ancient trees, you're also going to get a lot of forest underwood. Um, those, you can merge those for the sprouts of the flowers the blessed sprouts over here and that'll help you work on your blessed trees otherwise you can also sell these for coins meh they're kind of like a plains grass in uh, merged dragons if ever you play merged dragons that small elven temple is just like the zen temple so definitely uh you know we can use similar techniques from game to game and here we're going to finally merge these five level four wise ancient trees beautiful oh yeah and look at this we just got an enchanted ancient tree what is this oh my goodness okay yes here we just got this i'm gonna bring this ancient tree back down here that looks amazing we have these five ancient leaves we can merge merge those five ancient saplings next i'm gonna bring these level two small ancient trees just fill in these holes real quick and look at this. We just got the Enchanted Ancient Tree Level 5. And now we're finally going to be able to produce those puddles, those ponds. We have a level 1 tiny pond now. And this is going to help us make sprouts as well. Um, if you play Merged Dragons, this is kind of like the Misty Mountains, if I'm not mistaken. There's the Cloudy Summit. And then you can merge those to get the mist Misty Mountains. In the beginning of the game, these are really powerful when you get a little bit more advanced. Um, you know, we use them a little less often, but these enchanted ancient trees, whether you have the level 5 or level 6, super cool. There's no wonder, but they're going to give you a bunch of these rain clouds and you can make it rain. So here, we're getting more sprouts, we're getting more of the tiny ponds, and with the tiny ponds, I can either make merges... Um, ooh, so here we've got the tiny pond, the shallow pool, the placid pool, the reflecting pool, the great garden pool, uh, the elven temple pool, there's the divine forest pool, level 7, and the level 8 is the reflecting pool of fae, and that one I must have discovered 
it on a level on the world map because I haven't discovered it in my garden yet. And then after the level eight is the wonder. So these are similar to the water in Merge Dragons. We've got these ponds here. And if you don't merge them fast enough, they're going to turn into the floating stones here, these floating rocks that we have, which can be considered the equivalent of the regular mushrooms. And then that would make these glowing rocks the magic mushrooms. Uh, if ever you're looking for Merge Dragons references here. But if ever you're only playing Merge Magic, no worries. Here we've got these five tiny ponds, and I'm going to merge those before they turn into the floating rocks. Here, I'm going to go real quick. I only have one of these. Oh, we can tap it, get another cloud. Look at that. I think we can also, yeah, harvest it if we're looking for more clouds. And I'm going to try to make another five merge. Yas Queen, merge those level ones there. So now we have four of the level two shallow pools. I'm going to go try to get another, another couple merges there. Um, may become floating rock. The level three may become wise floating rock. So we need to get the level four so it doesn't turn into a floating rock if we want to work on our magic water reflecting pools chain. So I'm going to have to get a level four reflecting pool if I want to keep it around. Here, that dimensional jar, technically you can bubble it if you want to by um, trapping it and having no space left for it to uh, go on your map when you drop an item on it. Although, Meh, I wouldn't spend gems on that. So here, I'm just going to sell this dimensional jar for the 50 coins. Beautiful. And let's keep making it rain. Here, we've got another cloud. We're going to bring it over here. We've got these. Okay, I wasn't going for that merge. It's okay. We're going to make a five merge with the shallow pools now. Looking good. If we get one more of the level three placid pools, that's just going to be amazing. I'll make a three merge because these uh, water here, the magic waters, the reflecting pools, they tend to switch fast. So here we're working on that. It's going pretty well. Here we have another cloud. Let's go ahead and harvest one more cloud. Uh, we're at four. That makes five there. Beautiful. So now I only need one more level two. Let's keep making it rain. Maybe harvest one last cloud here. And this is going really well. We only need one more level one, and then we'll have it. There's a cloud. Oh, yeah. Thank you, Mr. Butterfin, or Mrs. Butterfin. Here, we're going to make it rain. There it is. We're going to get that level one there. Now we can merge these level two shallow pools, merge these level three placid pools, and we just got our first level four reflecting pool back in our garden. This is amazing. Here, we're going to get these little shimmering uh, plants here and those we can merge into these shining plants here that merge chain so far uh, These are like seeds the level ones Then we have the twinkling plant the glowing plant the shining plant the radiant plant Etc and there's eight levels there and then we have the wonder the glowing plants here are kind of like the grass in merge dragons You can harvest those and those will give you these uh, enchanted stumps here which you can either harvest or merge for fine enchanted stumps, level two. And those are kind of like fresh stones in Merge Dragons, uh, if ever you're looking for those references. And here I'm going to hope to get a fifth one of these little shimmering plants. I want to make a five merge with those for sure. Um, definitely super powerful item here, worth getting. Um, and then the garden pools, all those magic waters there, it's super rare, but you can get these magic bean, bean sprouts here. And I'm pretty sure these are like the golden, uh, the golden trees, those, uh, Midas trees in Merge Dragons. There's a level 11, a level 11 levels, then the wonder. So here, eventually we're going to be able to tap that to get more of these beans and these beans, I have a feeling, are those golden apples. So if we can manage to get the level 3 magic bean, that's going to be another 2x2 two two item that we can bubble other items with because it's a 2x2 two two mergeable item. Um, if ever you've been watching my bubbling live streams that I've had, we've been using these um, Divine Glowing Amethysts here. And those, they're like the glowing rocks here. I worked really hard to get those level 8. We have uh, 3... Four of those, and uh, those you take all those little weak, bright stones, merge them up. I also had some faint spirit rocks and some soul mana rocks coming out of my higher level, uh, brimming 
mineral boulders. So if you give those space to breathe, they're going to give you a ton of these items so you can work on that. And uh, then you get these two by two items that you can bubble with. But if you're looking for another way to do that, use these magic bean sprouts here. You're going to be able to get those magic beans. Here we've got this tiny pond giving us those floating stones. So we might even have a floating stone. Oh yeah, we've got it. We're going to merge these five level one floating stones right there. And now we can merge these five wise floating rocks here. Beautiful. <coughs> and that's looking great. Here I'm hoping to get one more of these little shimmering plants before they turn into a cobweb. The cobwebs kind of like necromancer grass. Um, you can get the evergreen trees here. You can either merge these or harvest them. And uh, those, they're really useful in the beginning. Further on in the game, they get a little bit more common. So I'm just fingers crossed that we're going to get another little shimmering plant here. Hopefully. Um, when it comes to the magic bean sprouts level one right now, I see three. I think I have like three or four. I haven't had a five merge yet. Ooh, here we can go ahead and merge these snake mixtures. Those are kind of like grim seeds. Yes, and we got that fifth one. So we just made a five merge to get the level two twinkling plants. Beautiful. I'm going to bring this magic bean sprout down there. And then here we can start harvesting those, get more of those enchanted stumps. Beautiful. And this video is turning out a little longer than I was planning. If you're still watching, hope you're enjoying it. But I mean, you get the gist of it. Um, otherwise, uh, if you're looking for some more tips, I've got something up my sleeve. Okay, so here, this enchanted stump, I think I've harvested a couple times. The new ones, I haven't harvested them yet. So I'm going to harvest those maybe once, maybe twice. We're going to maximize these enchanted stumps here. If ever you're watching Merge, uh, you're playing Merge Dragons, these are like fresh stones. You can do the same thing if you're working on your Stonehenge Wonder. So I'm going to harvest those each at least once. Now, I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to harvest them one more time. Let's see. I think we can get two harvest out of each of these. There we go. So this is going super well, kind of making a mess, but we're getting a ton of items. We can merge these level two fine enchanted stumps there. Beautiful. And um, we harvested. Uh, yeah, we're all good. We still have the five enchanted stumps level one. So now that I've harvested, now I'm going to merge them. Um, you know, I could take a chance harvesting them a little bit more. Um, yeah, and that's a way to maximize that. Let's go ahead. Let's harvest two enchanted stumps. Harvest them as much as possible. See how many harvests we can actually get out of them. I'm going to go harvest two of them. Let's let's even go with three. Let's see the maximum potential we can get here. I'm just going to move those back, make a little bit of space here. So we've got three enchanted stumps. So we're going to harvest each of these here and see how many harvests we can get. Uh, I don't want to harvest another enchanted stump because it might get confusing. So each of these have been harvested once now. We're going for a second time. Beautiful. So they can each be harvested twice. Let's go for a third. And that's going super well. So, okay, they could be harvested three total times. Um, if you want to merge them, harvest them twice and then merge for the most strategic long-term merging process here we're going to make a five merge with those level twos that's looking good we've got a fourth one here eh, not quite a five merge but with the level three great enchanted stumps i can make whoop i can make a five merge with those there awesome merge these five level four mana enchanted stumps there and then here these dimensional jars we're just going to sell those for coins beautiful sell that sell that and now I'm at four of these arcane enchanted stumps level five. Okay, so that's all I have for now. I'm definitely going to save those for a five merge here. Next is the enchanted stump level six. And so far I've got the sorcerer's enchanted stump level seven. These are kind of like the living stones in merge dragons. Um, you can harvest wood from these enchanted stumps here. And I'm going to be working on getting the equivalent of the Stonehenge Wonder, the Enchanted Stump Wonder. 
So can't wait to see what that is here. You know, they're really powerful for harvesting that wood there. There's 10 levels and then we've got the wonder. So that's my next thing I'm going to be focusing on. So make sure to stay tuned in for that. If ever you're watching this video, so I made this video a little bit in advanced. So if you're watching this video right now and you're still listening, thank you so much for listening to the video. Make sure to click the thumbs button for the like if you're enjoying the video and you need to check out my how to get uh, magic gems video. That video should already be out by now. So here we've got these, uh, these purple stars that we've gotten from levels, which I'm going to explain in the purple star video that we've got coming out. So these purple stars here, we're saving those up and we're going to be working on our magic stars. So I'm going to be showing you how to get as many gems as possible with the same technique I use in Merge Dragons to get free gems there. So thanks again for watching. If ever you're new to Toasty Gibber Boutique, make sure to subscribe. I'm always coming out with new videos for more tips, tricks, and strategies. Uh, so make sure to subscribe. If you're already subscribed, stay tuned for more. Hope you enjoyed this video. Keep it toasty. Peace.